Hi, this is Dr. Samir Shamshuddin from osarixukusergroup.org. In today's video, I shall be demonstrating how to completely anonymize and rename a DICOM case using DICOM Cleaner software. Why am I using DICOM Cleaner and not Osirix? This is because there are many unsafe DICOM tags in a DICOM study and it is very tedious to strip off each one of this within Osirix whereas DICOM Cleaner software gives multiple options to strip them all together and take home a completely cleaned and anonymized version of the case without affecting its uh, original acquisition value. So this software can be downloaded from uh, this link within the website under software links page when you scroll down I have put up a link called Complete Anonymization and Renaming DICOM Cleaner. When you click on this link, that will take you to the DICOM Cleaner website. And if you scroll through the page, towards the bottom of the page, you will find a link where you can download the software. So the third option, which is called Mac OS Executable, that requires Java 1.5 or later to be already installed. If you click on this link, that will directly download your software onto your Mac. Its installation of this software is similar to any other application. Just unzip the folder and uh, launch it from your application and drag an icon onto the dock board. I've already done this, so I'm not going to download it in this video. So once you click on the dock board and click DICOM Cleaner icon, that gives us this window right this window has got two sections one workstation wherein it says original and cleaned and then there are multiple tabs and also options let me just uh, make you familiar with this by doing a live case so on my desktop, you can see that there are three icons here. One which says Samir, which is my external hard drive. Another which is cleaned. That is a folder that you need to create. So in order to export the cleaned cases. And this is a case called 10 Easy 5 fr which needs to be cleaned. So how can we clean this folder? So on the DICOM cleaner, if you click import, that will pop up a window asking which case to import. So if you scroll through this one, click on desktop, which will be under users. That's my name, desktop 10 easy fire fire and choose this file. So this case will get imported. So you can see on the left hand side, that there is patient Y19010, Y19010. So this is the case that I need to rename. So if you look at the bottom part of this window, you can see, look at the section called as replace. So tick all this box, replace patient name. I will put this according to the case code we have already discussed on the website. So my case code will be SAMSHA iPhone 0001 this is my first case and I will keep the same patient ID SAM SHA hyphen 0001 tick the accession box but don't type in anything so click all remove all unreplaced identities remove descriptions keep series description Keep this one checked so that if you are doing an MR examination, you know which one is T1, T2, etc. and weird sequences. And check this box, remove patient characteristics, replace all UIDs. This is the advantage of DICOM cleaner. If you check this box, all uncertain UIDs like some patients, uh, some hospitals put in hospital ID or something, some machines put in different uids in different places within a dicom data so all this will get stripped off and also check uncheck this box add contributing equipment so you don't know from which hospital it has arrived so all i have to do now is click the button clean so you can see that this case has been renamed and cleaned as samsha 0001 samsha 0001 it is important before you 
export the case you need to create a folder where to export this is the this is very very important so I have created a folder called as cleaned on my desktop and then within this folder I will also create another folder called as and call it as new samsha hyphen 0001 cleaned and put the diagnosis so that you know what the case is and close this one so select the case click export and then just select that folder so under desktop cleaned cleaned fracture say choose so you can see that you get a message saying done exporting to with the file path so that we have completely anonymized this case into a new case so let us see has this worked so let let us close the DICOM cleaner and launch Osarix now to get the case onto the Osarix very simple click on import desktop cleaned and select the folder where you have exported samsha 0001 clean fracture and click open select copy files and there you go that's my first case which has been completely renamed called as samsha 0001 cr so this if you cl double click this one you will see that there is no absolutely no identifiable data even if you check the metadata you will not find patient ID, chi number, age, sex, anything from this case. So that's the advantage of using DICOM cleaner. It's a two, two to three step procedure but it takes care of uh, complete anonymization of a DICOM case. Right, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts regarding the DICOM cleaner, please feel free to email me on admin at osirix-ukusergroup.org Thank you.